Hi everybody, welcome back to the Futec HD channel. Bending is a crucial process used in the fabrication of pressure vessels. To create the required shape, a steel plate is cut according to the design specifications and then fed into a bending machine. One such machine used for this purpose is the Davi 3-roll machine with a variable axis. This machine has the ability to bend the steel plate accurately and uniformly, ensuring that the final product meets the required specifications. North Shore Steel utilizes this machine to fabricate pressure vessels, ensuring that they meet the highest quality standards and can withstand the extreme conditions they are designed for. A mechanical three-roller symmetrical plate rolling machine is a device used to bend and shape metal sheets and plates into cylindrical or conical shapes. It is a commonly used machine in metalworking, manufacturing, and fabrication industries. The machine consists of three rollers, two bottom rollers, and one top roller, which are mounted on a frame. The bottom rollers rotate in fixed positions, while the top roller can move up and down to apply pressure to the metal plate. The rollers are driven by a motor, which rotates them in opposite directions to create a bending force on the metal. The plate is inserted between the bottom rollers, and the top roller applies pressure to the plate to bend it into the desired shape. The machine can be adjusted to bend metal plates of different thicknesses and lengths. The symmetrical design of the rollers ensures that the plate is rolled evenly and consistently, resulting in a smooth and uniform surface. The machine is operated by a skilled operator who monitors the process and makes adjustments as necessary. It is a versatile and efficient machine that can be used for a variety of applications, including the production of pipes, cylinders, tanks, and other cylindrical or conical shapes. The production process for hot-formed pressure vessel heads in segments typically involves several steps. First, the raw material, in this case P460 material, is sourced and inspected to ensure it meets the necessary quality standards. The material is then cut into segments of the appropriate size and shape for the specific gas tank application. The segments are then preformed into the desired shape using a combination of heat and pressure. This process involves heating the material to a specific temperature, typically above its recrystallization temperature, and then shaping it using a press or other forming equipment. Once the segments are preformed, they are welded together to create a complete head. The welding process typically involves a combination of automated and manual techniques to ensure the highest quality and consistency. After welding, the completed head is subjected to a series of quality control inspections to ensure it meets all relevant standards and specifications. This may include non-destructive testing, dimensional inspections, and visual inspections. Finally, the completed heads are prepared for shipment to the gas carrier where they will be installed as part of the gas tank system. Throughout the production process, strict quality control measures are in place to ensure the safety and reliability of the final product. The BMB-25 flanging machine is a specialized industrial equipment used for flanging, which is a metalworking process used to form a flange, or lip, onto the edge of a metal sheet or plate. The machine is designed to produce precise and repeatable flanges, which are commonly used in the fabrication of ductwork, tanks, and other sheet metal components. 
The operation of the BMB-25 flanging machine begins with the operator loading a sheet of metal onto the machine's bed. The sheet is then clamped securely in place using a series of hydraulic clamps. The operator then selects the desired flange size and depth using the machine's controls. Once the parameters have been set, the machine's flanging head, which contains a series of hardened steel rollers, is lowered onto the metal sheet. The rollers then press against the sheet, gradually forming the flange along the edge of the metal. As the flanging head moves along the sheet, it is supported by a series of guide rollers to ensure accurate and consistent flange formation. The machine's controls also allow for the adjustment of the flanging speed and roller pressure. Allowing the operator to fine-tune the flanging process for different materials and thicknesses. Once the flanging operation is complete, the machine's clamps are released and the finished sheet can be removed. Boiler manufacturing is a complex process that involves several stages to create a functional and efficient boiler. The process typically begins with design and engineering, where engineers create detailed plans for the boiler's structure, components, and performance characteristics. After design and engineering, the manufacturing process begins with the fabrication of the boiler's components. This typically involves cutting, shaping, and welding steel sheets to form the boiler's shell and other components such as tubes, headers, and supports. The components are then assembled using various welding techniques, and pressure tests are performed to ensure the integrity of the welds. Once the boiler components are assembled, the unit undergoes further testing to ensure it meets safety standards and operational requirements. The boiler is inspected for proper fit and function, and any necessary adjustments are made. Finally, the boiler is shipped to its destination, where it is installed and commissioned. During commissioning, the boiler is checked for proper operation and calibrated to ensure it meets the required performance specifications. Pressure vessels are used in a variety of industries, such as oil and gas, chemical and nuclear power plants. To contain fluids or gases at high pressures and temperatures. The construction of pressure vessels requires specialized knowledge and expertise to ensure their safety and reliability. One of the critical components of pressure vessel fabrication is the rolling of shells and cones, which form the main body of the vessel. The shells and cones are made from metal plates that are rolled into the desired shape using specialized machines. The thickness and quality of the metal plates are critical factors that determine the strength and durability of the pressure vessel. Once the shells and cones are rolled, they are then fit up and welded together using various welding processes. One such welding process, commonly used in pressure vessel fabrication, is submerged arc welding, saw. 
which involves feeding a continuous wire electrode into the welding area while a flux covers the weld pool to protect it from contamination. The use of a column and boom welding manipulator and saw allows for the precise positioning of the welding torch, which ensures uniform and high quality welds. This process is vital to ensure the integrity and safety of the pressure vessel, as any flaws or defects in the welds could compromise the vessel's ability to contain high pressure fluids or gases. In Ras Alcor, Dubai, UAE, there are several pressure vessel fabricators that specialize in the construction of high-quality vessels. These fabricators have the knowledge, skills, and equipment necessary to produce pressure vessels that meet the stringent safety standards and regulations of various industries. The fabrication process in these yards typically involves a team of skilled workers, including welders, fitters, and quality control inspectors, who work together to ensure the vessel's quality and safety.